most martial arts in this country, but well, a lot of martial arts in this country, especially kung fu oriented martial arts, a wushu, which is more of a sport. This is a real art, real kung fu, and it's a very big difference. Bafang Tong Bi Chuan is a traditional Chinese closed door kung fu. This has been taught behind closed doors since, well, in Luoyang, in Junchun, since the beginning of the Ming War period, 11th century. Uh, I'm currently 13th generation Tedang on master's side of the family, but it goes back further than that. Our teacher is Mike Farr. Now, he was um, trained in this art in China. His story is he was uh, teaching English in China and he trained in a marsh, in Chinese martial arts before he left. Well, so we were working for VSO. Uh, there was a, a woman called Karen who'd married a Chinese doctor in Luoyang. And they moved back, they were married and they came to this country. He had uh, someone he was teaching medicine to who had learned Kung Fu from Wang Hongjun. When he left Luoyang, he asked his best friend Ho Jin Li to introduce me to Wang Hongjun, my master, who was training in Dong Fang Wu Shu's way out. Behind a big, big metal door, closed, locked, you couldn't, you couldn't get over it into, you couldn't see through. He asked to be taught and was refused point blank. But Mike being Mike, went back again and again and again asking to be taught. I was introduced to this very small man big smile, nothing much to look at. He looked me up and down, he asked me to do one or two things, I did them for him. Okay, come back tomorrow. I went back the next day. No longer training with someone to but to train, to learn from this guy. I kind of had this idea that he was really special, you know, just from, from the aura, from, from his presence. You know, he's very small, very powerful man. After that month, I received a letter from him, a formal invitation to go to his home in Juntun village. I went up there on the Sunday, and he made me a member of his family, because the real Kung Fu that he taught me can only be passed from father to son. Master trusts my judgment. Implicitly, basically, he said, you're a good man, you have a good head. I trust your judgment. And I've passed on to my students. They say, oh, a friend of mine wants to look at learning. OK, well, bring him up and we'll have a chat. Are they, tr are they trustworthy? Are they decent people? I'm going to trust your judgment on this, the same as he's trusted mine. He's kind of passing it down the line, you know? That's how we get students.